this experiment, microwaves are generated from which a standing wave is created in two different ways. Their field pattern is determined by means of an E-field probe. The experimental part, wavelength determination at standing microwaves, consists of a gun supply with amplifier, a gun oscillator with horn antenna, an E-field probe, a voltmeter, a scale, and metal and PVC plates. The experimental part, microwaves in a leher line, consists of a gun supply with amplifier, a gun oscillator with horn antenna, an E-field probe, a voltmeter, a scale, and a Lecher line. The E-field probe is placed centrally in front of the horn antenna and the modulation frequency of the microwaves is varied by the black knob at the top left of the gun supply until a maximum signal is measured. Setting up the experimental part wavelength determination at standing microwaves Fix the metal plate on one of the holders and place it at a distance of about 200 mm and perpendicular to the direction of radiation of the horn antenna. Measure the field strength from 50 mm in front of the horn antenna to 50 mm in front of the metal plate in steps of 5 mm. Select at least 5 minima and maxima in the field strength and measure the field strength in smaller steps of less than 5 mm in their vicinity. Increase the distance between metal plate and horn antenna and search a minimum in the field strength with the E-field probe. Now, place the grey PVC plate on a base in the beam path between the E-field probe and the metal plate. Move the E-field probe towards the PVC plate and determine the displaced position of the minimum. Setting up the experimental part, microwaves in a Lecher line. The induction loop at the end of the Lecher line is inserted into the horn antenna. Measure the field strength along the length of the Lecher line in steps of 2 mm. The field strengths are plotted against position in the evaluation to determine the properties of the microwaves or standing waves.